We'll pour some milk into this bowl. And now to add drops of food coloring. There's the red. And now for the blue. And of course, we can't forget the yellow. Now I need a cotton swab. Let's touch it to the milk. There it goes! It's starting to move! I can make it go in whatever direction I want. Time to do some mixing together. Mmm, I'm kind of bored. I wonder what I should do. I've got it! Time to do some art! I'll start with this orange paint. Art is fun. It's hard to stay bored when you can be creative. Better stay hydrated, though. Oh no! What was I thinking? I have paint all over my fingers! Shoot, what a mess. Now what am I gonna do? The paint is all over the glass. Hmm. Wait! I'm a genius! All right, time to start with a clean glass and a fingertip of paint. That should be enough. Now I'm gonna draw a squiggle line across the top. Good. I'll add some more, too. Then I can add a little marker underneath the color dabs. I'm done! Eee! It's so cute! It looks like little lights wrapped around my glass. It's definitely a lot prettier than it was before. I can't believe I came up with this. And time for some more juice! Now that's what I'm talking about! Hey! What do you think of my new jacket? I totally got it on sale. It was 50% off. Isn't it just the best? Yeah, it's nice. I get it. But check out my new jacket! What do you think about my new phone case? Sparkles are so last year. I've got poppets. Whatever. I have this notebook, too. I decorated it with stickers. Hearts and stars and one little ice cream treat, too. What? Oh, My notebook is so boring and plain. This isn't gonna work at all. There's gotta be something I can do. Hmm? I've got these markers. Wait! I think I've got a plan! I've got markers on this knife. I'll cut off the tip. And then I'll make a few more cuts so it'll look like a heart. Aw! Look how cute it turned out! And now to bring out my notebook. I'll use it like a stamp. I don't have to stop at hearts, either. There we go! I've got hearts and stars now, too! See? My notebook has that, too. And I didn't need stickers. Whoa! I can't believe you made that! The squirrel has to give my ice cream back. Not the rocky road. Yeah! Time to do painting! I'm an artist! I'm the best at art! Painting is fun! Oh no! I got paint on your computer! I know! I'll just clean it off! Wait! It's just smearing! Oh no! It's making an even bigger mess! It all just turned pink! She's gonna be so mad at me! Huh? She's awake! Uh, what are you doing? Why are you staring at me? Huh. You're acting weird. Really suspicious. Wait a second! Ah, my laptop! What happened to it?! You painted it pink! Huh? What's this over here? A straw? Wait! I can totally salvage this travesty! Okay, here's my poor messed up laptop. I need more paint. That's right. More, not less paint is the solution. White and yellow, too. And some purple. So pretty. And maybe just a bit of this brownish yellow. Okay, now I'm ready for the straw. I'll start blowing this paint now. I'll use the air to push the paint around the laptop. Gotta keep going. I like the different colors for sure. And the patterns and textures it makes are cool! Wow! It turned into a legit piece of artwork! It's beautiful! Makes me think of waves in the ocean! I can't believe how well it turned out! Wow! Look at her computer! So cool! All right, let's go! Oh wait, after you, of course. Wait, we'll go together. Time to see what the wheel is gonna pick! Ooh! A smiley emoji! Oh, really? Yes! I get to use one hand, and you get to use zero! Ha! Now let's see what the magic gets us. Wait, squeeze bottles? You know what, Sky? Let's get some aprons for this challenge. Okay, now we're ready to do this one! Maybe I can make the wheel change to something else. Come on, come on, come on! Please! Oh my god! 
gosh! It totally worked! I can't believe it! And now I get to do an ice cream instead. Okay, that circle works. And now I better start with some eyes. He needs some eyebrows too, I think. Okay, that should be enough for this one. On to blue! I'll draw these tears and then fill them in with the blue. <sighs> this is working okay, I think. There goes all the batter. It's starting to work. Now under the red. Just gotta give it a squeeze. Just gotta get it along the blue like this. Not bad, all things considered. All right, on to the yellow. Can't have a smiley without yellow. I've just gotta fill in all the space with this color now. Gotta make sure each little area has color in it. Just a little bit more. And there! Time to flip it! Oh my gosh! Look at how good this is turning out! Oh no. I got a tickle in my nose. This is bad. A cow! Oh no! So that came right off! Oh! It made a huge crash! Oh. Yeah, that's a rough turn, Sky. Sorry. Whatever. It's fine. I guess I'm done now. Well, here. Maybe I can use the spatula to help you out a bit. I'll just push it a little over here. It's not like I can get any worse, I guess. There, see? That's better, right? Yeah, it is! <sighs> Thanks, I guess. Yeesh, she's so grumpy right now. But hey, take a look at how mine turned out. Isn't it cute? Okay, I'll press the button this time. I wonder what it's going to land on this time. Ooh, a tree! I didn't expect that at all! Wait, I got no hands again? Let's see what the magic gives us for this challenge. Oh, I guess we've got a bottle of ink and a straw? Well, guess I should get started. Time for you to show off your stuff, elbows. Great job! Now let's open the bottle of ink. Yes! Okay, good thing straws are actually made for the mouth. Alright, now I need to use this to get some of ink, I guess. <gasps> it's working! What the heck am I supposed to do with this straw? Oh no! She's drinking it! Stop! That's ink, not soda! Uh, what? Oh, phew, I thought you were drinking it. I'm drawing the only way I can. Just gotta keep blowing this ink in the direction I wanted to go. Wow, that's turning out amazing. I can't believe you can do all of that with a straw in your mouth. Ugh, why isn't this working? Maybe I just have to blow even harder into the straw. Come on! Come on, you dumb ink! Phew! Wait, what's on my face? Aw, I got splattered with ink! What's she crying about over there? Ugh, she's a total mess. Wait! Huh? Stop! Why? Look! I've got this pink paint! I'll just squeeze a line of this paint out. And now for another color, too. Okay, I've got my paint lines. Now I need a cotton swab. I'll dab it in this light pink color. Now watch! I'll just dab it again, but on your black inky branches. See? It looks like flowers! Like little buds that have opened in the spring! Look at how great this is turning out! Isn't it beautiful? Wow! You really helped make my tree even more special! I'm so glad we worked on this together! Me too! It's lovely! Huh. We've got a piece of paper. Oh! Something's happening! Here comes the magic again! Look! It's an ice cream cone! How cute! It looks pretty tasty, too. I wish I had a real ice cream cone. Ooh, no kidding! Hey, let me see that over here. This'll be a fun one. Aw, no hands again? That's a huge bummer. Okay, I've got my one hand and a paintbrush. Ready to dab it into the paint. I think I'll start with red. Mm -hmm, gonna paint this ice cream. Gonna have a good time. I'm just adding different colors and dots on my picture. I've got red, yellow, blue, and mostly white. And now I'm gonna add some water and let them blend together. Mm, look at her doing all the painting over there. I better get started. Guess there's nothing to do but use my mouth. I could totally do this like this! Okay, just gotta start adding some dots on this paper. I need some of this color now, too. Maybe I'll add some of this color here. <gasps> oh no! This is just turning out terribly! Well, I guess this is what I came up with. Ta-da! Are these just colorful? I've got that going for me anyway. I'm done with my ice cream cone too, see? The blending technique I used turned out great! I love it! Whoa! It turned into a real ice cream! Just like we were hoping it would! Looks so much like the ice cream cone I painted too! Time to give this a taste. I hope it's good. 
it is. It's very good. I bet you're wishing you had an ice cream cone too. What do you think we're gonna get this time? It's so exciting! Oh my gosh! Look! It's a cute little frog! Look at him just hopping around, doing his little ribbits. Well, I'm definitely ready to make some artwork featuring a frog. Wow! Me too! I love frogs and toads. Let me get my paper ready. Yes! Two hands this time! And you get one again. Looks like I'm gonna use this fine tip marker for this one. I'm gonna start by making two halves of hearts like this. I'll connect them underneath like this. And then above with an arc. Look at his cute little fingers. So adorable! I drew his eyes so now I need to start coloring him in. I've gotta use green, of course. He's a respectable frog. Ha! I get to use both hands and I'm gonna! I should be able to get it done twice as fast because, well, two hands. It's turning out great! This is a fantastic strategy! She was right about the little fingers and toes. Those are definitely the cutest. All right, the outline is complete. Time to start coloring him in. This is definitely going nice and fast. Though it's maybe not as delicate. Gotta go faster! Whoa! I've got smoke over here! Ah! What the heck? How did you start a fire over there? Yikes. Well, I guess I'm done with my froggy picture. <laughs> I was just coloring too fast, it seems. <laughs> well, my frog picture didn't catch fire, and here it is. Isn't it cute? Oh, what's that? It's a gummy frog! It must have come from my amazing picture! Time to shake the picture! Shake, 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 shake! <laughs> wow! That's a lot of gummy frogs! Oh my gosh, it smells so good! Like melon! I'm gonna take a bite of this one. I can't wait any longer. Wow, it's great. I just really love gummy foods. Whoa, what the heck are you doing? Shouldn't you slow down? No! <sighs> I love them too much to slow down! Hmm, my crush has me feeling inspired. I sure hope he appreciates this. Here goes nothing! Uh, what's up, David? Nice. What you write to me? Yep, I've got some feelings about this. Be still, my heart. Let's see here. Gah! My books! Sorry. Let me help you with those. Oh. So soft. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, my books? Oh, right. So… Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm in love. Wait. Just one last look. Yep, this guy is really something. Ah. Uh, oh, that's what I'll say. Nothing like reminding your sweetie about the moment you first laid eyes on each other. The hard part's over. Nice. Wow. I remember. Such a sweetheart. Love you, baby. Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope! Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower?! Alright. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this! Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals! Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. 
You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puppy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. And you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome! What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! Aw, this picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Whoa! Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course. You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? A pie! My little artist. This looks so cute! Matthew will love it! Oh. Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Gina, can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. Matthew still has it! I'll go see him. He'll be so surprised. Phew. Matthew lives far away. At least I don't need a shower later. I should have brought a jacket! I can't wait to see him! What? You look so pretty today. I don't believe it! And with my eraser! This is the worst! Stupid Matthew! How could he? I'm never gonna give him my eraser again! <gasps> what am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! I should have thought of this earlier. I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. Oh, it's so cute! I'm sorry. Who knew science was so interesting? Oh, a message. 
Oh no, I forgot Gina's birthday. I need to get her a gift. There must be something around here that I can use. That's a start. Now I just need to find a gift. Whoa! Ouch. Hey, I can use that ribbon. That's gonna hurt later. Okay, time to get creative. This is going well. There! It looks amazing! But what can I put in it? A doll? Hmm. Aw, another doll! Just what I need. Nope. Flowers. That's a good idea. They're beautiful! Uh, where did those bees come from? Uh, I got stung! Uh, I can't risk it. Now this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? No way! Ugh. Come on, think! Oh, I know! I can make her a journal! Start with an ordinary notebook, open the back cover, and start to apply a thin line of glue along the edge. Do this along the side and the bottom of the page. Next, you'll need a length of pink ribbon. Stick the ribbon to the glue. Repeat this with more lengths of pink ribbon along the bottom of the page. Once you've done that, you'll need some green ribbon. Stick the strips of green ribbon along the side of the page. Don't leave any gaps. Keep it side by side. Now close the notebook over. Fold the pink ribbon over the notebook. Then thread the green ribbon over and under the pink ribbon. Continue this all the way up the notebook with each strand of ribbon. You'll create a lattice effect. Open the notebook back up and run a strip of glue along the top of the page. Fold the excess ribbon over the cover and stick it to the glue. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Apply glue along the edge again, over the top of the ribbons. Remember to only put it on the three edges. Now put a sheet of card over the glue. Give it a press to make sure it's stuck in place. There! A homemade journal! I hope Gina likes it. I'm ready for Gina's birthday! I got you something! Wow! <sighs> Shredded paper! Thanks! Seriously? Look in the box. Oh, right! Thank you! You're the best! I know. All right, let's see what happens when I paint this paintbrush with a… well, paintbrush. I'll just do stripes in different colors on the bristles. It's almost like a rainbow. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm so bored. Hmm. I know how to wake her up. How about a little karaoke? Huh? Oh no. Anything but that. Sha la 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 la! Oh no, it's the banshees. Ashley, stop it! It's so bad! My ears are hurting! Uh, Ashley? I don't think this is good. I think you should put the microphone down. Oh! Still asleep? Oh, mommy, I don't want to go to school. I guess she's not a fan. Ahem. Oh, wee! La, la, la. Oh, who told her she can sing? Still nothing? Oh, tough crowd. Hit it! Oh, la, 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 hey, sit down! I need to do something. I'll be right back. Still going. I can't believe it's come to this. Please make it stop. I can't take it anymore. She'd waken the dead. Let me know when it's over. Take it to the bridge! Shut up! Hey, knock it off! Wait a second. I have an idea. I'll try anything. I need this toilet roll. I'll cut the tube into two sections. I'll take one section. And I'll apply tape to the edge. I'll put it all the way around. That should do it. Now I'll make a small cuts in it. I'll keep them evenly spaced out. Just like this. Now I'll take my other hand. And I'll stick the tube to it. I'll need my concealer. I'll squirt it onto the tube. And I'll use a makeup brush to blend it. I want to cover the tape and the tube. I don't want any showing. Then I'll do the same with my hand and nails. Next, I'll need powder makeup. I just need a thin coating. I want to lighten the tone slightly. That looks good. Next, I need a pan. 
I'll draw thin lines across my hand. I want it to look like a scar. I'll add a little color to my nails. Then I'll add scars to my fingers. Wow, that looks good. And spooky. It's the thing of nightmares. Time to shut Ashley up. I think I'll turn up the lights. Huh? What happened? Mindy? Is that you? Who? Who is there? I don't like this. Stay back! I know karate! Where are you? Wait, what was that? Something's touching me. You're behind me, aren't you? Huh? Nothing's there. This is so weird. Maybe I'm imagining it. It was so freaky. The lights went out. And then something grabbed me. Yeah, it sounds really strange. Hold on. Is that better? Yeah, thanks, Mindy. What a relief. Oh, no. No, it can't be. It was real. Huh? It sure was. Ah! What? Huh? Ah! Relax, it's just my hand. See? There's nothing to worry about. What's going on? What the? It was you. Oh, hey, you're awake. What are you doing? It wasn't me. It was the hand. Uh, is this a good idea? Whoa, what is that thing? This is fun. Okay, roll them. Aw, I lost. Woohoo! It's my turn to spin. I wonder what we'll get. Ooh, a surprise! Whoa! There's so many things to choose from! Oh, I thought it was candy. What is it? You use it to draw. Ah, got you! Like this? It's fun! What do you think? Uh, okay. Use it like this. It'll make a spiral. All you have to do is move the pen. The circles do the rest. I could do this all day. It looks so cool. Okay, let's try a different color. See? It's creating a different pattern. I don't need these anymore. Now that looks good. Whoa! It's so hypnotic. Ashley? Are you okay? Yoo-hoo! Hey, snap out of it! I know! This might be loud! Gah. This has to work! Seriously? I'm all out of ideas. Oh. This feather might be handy. Wakey, wakey! Achoo! What happened? Oh yeah, my pretty circles! Uh, they look great. Can I spin the wheel? No, it's my turn. Aw. Go on. Settle it with a thumb more? Let's go. This could take a while. Stop. Why don't we both spin it? Good idea! Oh! Sup. This is gonna be epic. Wait, where are we? Maybe we should go. Wow! My first tattoo! Whoa! You're eager! Let's do this! Are you crazy? This is gonna look sick. <laughs> it tickles! Wow! Look at that! That's some of my best work. Uh, that's different. I love it! Keep that away from me! Mommy, save me! Your turn, bro. No way! I'll just use this printout instead. I'll cut the butterfly out of the paper. Then I'll put it face down on my wrist. I need some aftershave to wet it. Now I'll press it against my skin. A pain-free tattoo. It suits me, wow! Ah, uh, no. I feel so pretty! Uh, is this the place? I think so. It looks creepy. I know. Should we go in? 
I'll get the door. Hmm, it's locked. That's annoying. What should we do? Now let me think. I know. Turn around. Um, okay. I need to draw around my hand. <laughs> that tickles. But that's a good idea. I'll do the same. Stop moving. I'm almost done. This is looking good. There, I'm finished. Uh, it's not my best work. It's not gonna be hanging in any galleries. Nah, this isn't gonna do. Here's my drawing. Oh, wow. oh, but remember, it was rushed. Oh, that's amazing. Are you seeing this? Where's it going? Hey, we need your help. We need to get inside. What are you waiting for? That's it. It's locked tight. Come on. It's working. The door's opening. Let's go. I wonder what's it like inside. We're about to find out. Okay, this spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever, fine. I'll be over here then. What can I paint? Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? Yep, I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand! Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh. All done, huh? Oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. I need something that'll turn some heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win. But it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of paint left. Which leaves room for me to play. Thank you! Ugh, I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Ex Excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, 
I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David. Whoa! Again! Fun, right? You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful! And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own! It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life. Along with the outline of the wings. Other side. There. Just admire this pure beauty. And that's just the beginning, son. Well, I guess this is where we are now. So, let's see what's up. Hey, how are you? We haven't talked in forever. <sighs> Might as well work on my manicure, I guess. Huh? Finally! Something's happening! Look at that light! Something alien and UFO-y is going on! Exciting! This is so cool! I can't wait to see what happens next! Wait, I got stuck with no hands? Come on, that's not fair! I got one hand, and I'm totally okay with that! Time to start drawing my little alien guy! There's his head! Now to work on his body! Can't be a little alien dude without any arms! Two, of course! And then down to his little sticky legs! Now to add some details! He needs to have his typical big black eyes and a little nose and mouth, too. Now to get him up and moving. Ugh, she totally makes it look so easy with her one hand she can use. Oh my gosh, it's an actual alien right here next to me! He's doing something with my plate and a marker. Hmm, let's see what he did. Looks like he tried to draw an alien. Hey, Mr. Alien Dude! Check out what I did on my plate! See? I can make him dance when the water moves! Man! He's got some great moves if I say so myself! Do you love it? I bet you totally love it! Yes! He loves it! Whoa! Look at that amazing space cake! Wow! He's putting it by me! I guess I get it! Here, you can have this! This might be the best cake I've ever seen! Uh -huh. She gets a cake and I get what? Nothing, I guess. Other than just this alien scribble on my plate. Hey! What about my plate? Don't you want this one too? Maybe in exchange for a cake? No? What the heck? You're the one who drew it! Can't believe this. Mmm. This looks great. I'm going in for a bite. How? Oh, mmm. That is one delicious space cake. I'm definitely glad that I won this one. These candies are my favorite. So fruity. The tropical flavors are definitely the better ones, I think. Wait a second. I have an idea. Let me pour some of these out of the bag. They're so colorful and pretty, too. I really love the pink. And now for some organization. I'll start with these blue ones. And here comes the pink. All right. They're all organized and ready for some magic. Yes! It worked! It turned into a poppet just like I hoped it would. Time for me to get poppin'. Hey! What the heck? And what are you doing? We're supposed to be doing art. Oh, right. I forgot. Just got distracted by the poppet, I guess. Yes! I get to use hands this time! And both of them, too! <laughs> Now's my chance. Don't mind if I play with this a bit. Actually, I'm gonna use it for my artwork. I'll start with this paint. Okay, I'll just paint the insides of the poppet with this brush. I'm very excited to see how this turns out in the end. All right, now to do the same with the orange row of the poppet. Okay, that's done. Now let's give this a try. I'll have to flip over this poppet onto my paper. Now to start popping! Red, red, maybe this blue over here. Man, look at her using both hands like she's allowed to do. Wait, I know what I'm gonna do. Come on, nose! You're gonna function as my paintbrush. Ooh, the paint is kinda chilly. Time to add some dots of paint to my paper with my nose. This is going well. Time to switch colors! Look! I made my poppet shapes with my nose! Yay! I made mine, too. It's pretty great, not gonna lie. Look at how perfect my dots are! Definitely better than yours! Whoa! The magic's back! Poppet cookies! Don't mind if I do! Oh! Mmm! Oh wow, this is so, so tasty! It definitely looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a bite, too. 
Whoa! Are you seeing this light right here? Ooh, looks like we've got boxes this time. I'm gonna take this one. No way! Look what was in mine! Cans of spray paint! I wonder what's in mine? I can't tell just by shaking. I'll open it. Wow! It's a whole box full of new colored pencils! I love them! Oh! Look! Another little box! What do you think's inside? I'll open it and find out. Huh. That's not what I expected. It's a gummy eyeball! So squishy. Okay, I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry. Mmm, that's very tasty. And chewy. I love it! Wow, that was a really good snack. I wish I had even more to eat. Hey look! We both get to use hands this time! All right, I've got my gloves and I'm ready to make some art. I'm gonna start with this blue color and make a splotch in the middle. Now I'll use this glass as a guide for the white paint. There. Now we've got a perfect blue circle. Next up, I need this plate. I'll put it face down on the paper. Time to break out the black spray paint now. Okay, I need a little black in the middle for a pupil, because it's an eye. I'm ready with my pencils and my one hand. Here I go. Time to draw an eye with my single hand. This is going pretty good so far. And I think I'm done! Ta-da! My happy little face is done! Whoa! How the heck did you do that? What? My cute little eye? Didn't it turn out fantastic? No way! The magic turned my picture into another gummy eyeball! Except it's a huge one! No way! What the heck? That's gigantic! Can I have it? Uh, no way. This belongs to me. Now excuse me. I need to eat my giant eyeball. <sighs> Man. Though I guess I didn't give her any of my cake. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? What is this? Oh, another one? They keep coming! After school means craft time! Just look at this thing go! Good thing I have a lot of this stuff. Oh yeah, make it rain, baby! Hmm. I think that looks pretty good. Ugh. She's always so messy. But at least I've learned to come prepared. I've got to protect the moneymaker somehow. Here comes the stamp brush. Am I good or am I good? Now how can I make this more interesting? Hope you like paint, little buddy! Woohoo! Oh no! Uh-oh. You're in big trouble, Missy! Now give me that dirty bear. Uh-oh. I'm gonna make this a little better. But first I need a couple of props. Recognize this? I'll need a pretty sizable amount. Along with a bear you don't mind getting dirty. Aw, you like that, Mr. Bear? Things are really getting messy over here. It's just the cutest stamp ever, right? But we just have to add a couple little details. And who doesn't love some flowers? Once it's all covered, stamp it! What a fun design! I guess I made the best out of a bad situation. Wow! Let me try that! Anything? Come on! There! This is actually pretty fun! Is there anything more classic than still life? I mean, how hard could it be? This poppet was fun! Okay. How do I get the apple to shine? Not a bad start, right? I want to do this forever. Actually, nah. Move out of my way! I bet I can figure this out. I'm so bored. What's she doing over there? Painting a bunch of fruit? Now it's coming together. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Huh? Wait, something's missing here. What the? I'll just start over, I guess. When will she be done? Hello, apple! Okay. Did that apple move? How am I supposed to work like this? <laughs> this is fun! Okay, this time it'll be great. Excuse me? I don't understand this. Hello? There's gotta be an explanation. Hey! I should have known it was you! Get back here! Now get back here! You're not going anywhere! At least not until I'm done painting. Okay, last one! <sighs> now I can finally paint in peace. Now, where was I? Um, hello? How long am I gonna be up here? Let me go! You deserve it. 
<gasps> yes! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I can just trace the fruit's shadow. This takes out all the annoying guesswork. And I can put all of my focus into the strokes. It's pear time! This shape can get super tricky. Wow, I'm really zooming through these. Last one's almost done. Just gonna fill in the background a bit. Can't forget to sign it, either. It could be worth something one day. All done! No thanks to you, sis. <laughs> yes! My hands are free! But wait! Oh no! Ah! I'm okay! All right, class. Our next challenge is themed illusion. Now start getting creative. Okay, I think I know how to start. Oh, yes, I wish I felt inspired. A couple lines ought to work. And then I can just connect them. It's so easy, but it looks so cool. I am so gonna win this thing. All done! That's, uh, very nice. Check out what I drew! <laughs> I'm putting just a little more thought into mine. And it's all about the lines. Once I've made a complete square, I put lines at the top and bottom, then to the right, and left. It takes a little bit of time, as you can see, but it'll all make sense at the end. When you place lines a certain way, you can create all kinds of perspectives. Just have to keep following the pattern. And a little color will help, too. See how it just comes alive? Almost like you could jump inside! Let me try. Like this? Ah! Oh no! Hey! I can see you in there! Okay, I'm all finished! And here's a little bonus for ya! What's going on in there? Howdy! I'm in here now! <gasps> Let me see this! I'm gonna get you out of here! Get out! Wait! Careful! Get out! Get out! <gasps> you did it! Wait, what? I really liked it in there! Wait, where are you going? I don't want to get stuck in there! Alright, here we go for the next challenge! Oh, it's a bunch of paint with makeup blenders! They're so squishy! Hmm, maybe I should check my makeup. Ooh, I could definitely use some touching up. Yeah, me too, Sky. Oh look! The wheel! Look! It stopped on the beauty blender! Yay! And we've got these long canvases to work on. All right, those are ready to go. Now for the hands! Oh man! No hands for either of us this time! Time for paint! Ow! My head! Ouch! Okay, we gotta be more careful. All right, I've got some yellow on my blender. And now I'll dab it onto my canvas and try to get a straight line. I think I'll start with this light blue. And now to start painting onto this end of my canvas. Now I need to add some orange to the yellow I've already put down. Time for some light pink now. I'll put it on this side of the blue. I'm gonna need this pretty sea green color. This is kind of fun, right, Lexi? Okay, back to work. I need some of that green right in this area. I gotta keep blending these pinks together! Yes! My ombre effect totally worked out great! Wow, it's so beautiful! And serene, too! Phew! I'm finished, too! That was a lot of work. Whoa! That's way different than what I made. Wow. Well, did you see what I did? Lexi? Look at mine! Yeah, yeah, it's great, Sky. I just… Whoa! H how did you even do all of that? Yeah, thanks. It totally turned out just like I pictured in my head. Well, now I don't know how I feel about mine. Listen, don't be sad. We can zazz yours up. We'll use this daisy. We'll just put it face down on your canvas. And now we'll get some white paint on the beauty blender. Time to put some of this white paint on the edges of the petals. Oh, wow! Let's do another one up here. Wow, Sky, You made it even better! I love mine now! Look at the patterns the petals made! They're so pretty! You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. You press the button this time, Sky. Okay, there's the wheel. Let's see what we get for this challenge. Eee! A unicorn! Aren't you totally excited? Whoa, this is a new one. You've got to wear a blindfold, Lexi. Well, if I'm gonna be blindfolded, I'm at least gonna be a unicorn, too. Yes! We're decorating unicorn-shaped cookies! How fun! Ooh, aprons again. Okay, well, I guess I better pull down my blindfold now. Sky, where'd you go? Are you over here? What's that over there? Yes! There's her cookie! I'm gonna take it! And time for a snack! Lexi, I really don't think there's anything over there to see. 
Wait a second. What happened to my cookie? It's gone! It's missing? Where did it go? I couldn't see a thing, of course. Yeah, I guess it's a mystery. I'll just get a new cookie. But I'm gonna keep my eye on Lexi. All right, we better start decorating these cookies! <sighs> okay, Lexi, I'll help you out to start. This is your white frosting. Thanks, guy. I'd better get started. I think this will be hard. I'm gonna start by outlining the cookie shape. There we go. And now I can start filling it in with more white. Okay, I think this is going well. I bet it looks great! Wow, this is really turning out lovely, I think. Just a bit more and done. All of the cookie is covered. Now I'm gonna use this paintbrush and some gold frosting paint. I'll put some down on the bottom and also up here on the ears. Okay, I can't forget the horn either. Now I need to add some eyes for my unicorn. I need to use some of this red frosting now. She needs little heart-shaped nostrils. So cute! I think I'm pretty good at this, actually. Okay, I need this color. What color is it? I don't know. But my unicorn needs eyes! And then color change again. Gotta do the nostrils so he can breathe. Very important. <laughs> I just know this is turning out amazing! Yay! I'm done! How about you, Sky? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! This is not what I expected at all! Well, I was blindfolded, so it is what it is, I guess. I just want to give his nose a little smooch. He is cute, and you're right! Smooches forever! At least I've got my own horn. My nails look amazing! Hmm, getting the right skill is tricky. But it's fun. Yeah, sure. What is that? It's my ship. Whatever. Let me focus on my nails. That's fine. I need to finish this. Oh no! My pencil! And I don't have a sharpener. Oh, what'll I do now? What's wrong? My pencil snapped and I can't sharpen it. Uh, take this! Oh, okay. How does that feel? No! Use it on your pencil! Oh, right. I see. I'll run the pencil over the nail file. It's working! Look! Now I can finish my drawing! I told you! I have an idea. I'll draw you! Wait, I've been working on some poses. <clears throat> How's that? Ugh, awful. Oh, I know! Go over there! Okay! Ready? That's more like it. I feel so glamorous. Put your hand on your head. Like this? That's it. Wonderful. How much longer? Hey! <sighs> I'm awake! What do you think? Uh, yeah. Good effort. This is my best work yet. Wow, that's really stuck up there. That looks chewy. Uh-oh! Hi. Take a seat, Ellie. Oh, okay. Don't look at me. She seems friendly. This color suits me. Uh, achoo! Okay, class. Open up your books. Do I have to? We have a very exciting lesson today. Yeah, right. I love her notebooks! I suppose I better take some notes. I know. My pen is super cute. I wish I had nice things. All my things are so boring. <laughs> it's not fair! What's going on back there? Hold on. What's the problem? I have pen envy. Let me see that. That's one fancy pen. Maybe I can help. Really? Upgrade your pens with this simple trick. Remove the parts from the pen. Then fill the casing with glue. Try not to make a mess at this stage. That should do it. Now pour in some glitter. Put the ink back into the casing. 
and screw on the nib. No more boring pens. Looks good, huh? Wow! Look at that! I can't forget about this cute little guy. Oh, he's so adorable. Thanks! Hmm. Wait there. Now I feel more comfortable. Wow! You're so stylish! I'll take those. These won't do. You need a makeover. I feel so alive. How… how did you do that? Who cares? I love it! You're my favorite teacher! Just doing my job. I feel amazing! What? Wow! I love your new look! Oh, I have something to give you! Really? For me? Thanks! Best day! Selfie! I love this class. Oh, I need to change. Ahem. So, today's lesson. Huh? It sure is dark in here. I'm so scared. What is that thing over there? Get out of my room, please! Help! What's going on in here? A big scary monster! You woke me up for this? A coat rack? Oh, I guess it was just in my mind. Good night! Sorry. It sure is dark. Just a coat rack, right? I'll be fine. What? What? Over there! Ugh. <laughs> I don't see anything in here. I know how to stop this once and for all. Start by blacking out the entire canvas. Once you've done that, use a stamp brush to put a bit of white down. Then use black to create a tree. The goal is to make a bunch of them. Then use white to make a sky full of stars. Then get a blade and pierce the canvas. Just make a bunch of random holes. Then push little lights through them. This ought to keep you safe. Wow! Now you have nothing to be afraid of. Lights off! Huh? What is that thing? Ah! A monster? Oh, okay, stop teasing me already. I feel so much better now. Monster free's the way to be! Okay, guys, it's picnic time! Just eat your pretend food. Ugh, I'm bored. Ooh, sissy's phone! Uh, but I can't open the thing. I know. All I need is her face. Easy. Don't wake up. Face, please! I won't work without her eyeballs. This tape seems pretty strong. Just gotta open those lids without her waking up. Can't forget about the other one. Hey, <laughs> there they are. Time to unlock this bad boy once and for all! Anything? Uh, still not working, huh? If only your face looked more natural. Come on, close! What's wrong with that thing? Now stay shut, will ya? Just stop moving! Okay, this definitely isn't working. Wait a minute. I can use this clear piece of paper. Just gonna rest it on her face. And trace over her entire face. The phone recognizes the general shapes of the face, after all. Hey, at least she's staying still. Just gotta get the jawline right. Perfection! A masterpiece! Ugh! Can I help you? Why does this look so familiar? <sighs> if you really want to draw a face, use a photo! Off! I'll show you how to do this right. First, you have to assemble your writing utensils. Make something that looks like an H. See? It's ready. Begin tracing the face like so. And the other side will draw the same thing. It just follows the movement. See? It's totally effortless. No fancy art training necessary. Looks pretty accurate, doesn't it? Like looking in the mirror. Hey! It worked! See ya! Whatever you do, don't read my text! Or look through my camera roll! 